Plastic pipes are very good. You can even spread it using hands, not even putting the pipe vice. Is he going to join that pipe with the union? A plumbing fitting called the union to facilitate to join or to disconnect. So this is a service pipe. We are going to continue. This pipe belongs to the owner of the house. That's where it starts from. Putting another union. You can see we are in the hills because we are likely to go down the valley. That's why he has put a, another union.
Now, what I explained before, it was theoretical. But now, you have seen the watermen from Wasak. I've seen the ferro, a connection on that main pipe. You have seen a communication pipe up to the meter. That section of pipe belongs to Wasak. Now I'm going to show you the part of Wasak and where the customer or the owner of the house where he starts from. From here, this is a water main, a big pipe which brings water from a treatment plant. This is the ferro tapped on the main in order to give individual houses a connection. The water you get in your house, you get it in this way. You come this communication pipe up to here, up to this meter position. This is a communication pipe. This valve here, it helps Wasak people, if you are not paying bills, they can come and close and remove their meter. So Wasak stops from here. Now the owner of the house continues from here up to the storage tank. So we are going to come from here, connect that pipe, which is still a service pipe. I think that's all. Can you come and continue? Okay, now we are going. We're in the hills, now we are going to the valley by putting thread tape as usual. Then we put a bend, elbow. That's the change of direction because we are from there up going down. A direction of 90 degrees. We are still continuing with the service pipe, the pipe which belongs to the owner of the house. And they want to install it, even maintaining it. Finishing that part, then we are going to continue horizontally, going to climb the the wall.
We are putting now a socket which will join that pipe which is on a straight line. Still going ahead with the service pipe. Cut it. Now putting a union which will connect the two pipes. The rising pipe going to the tank and the straight pipe on the floor, the straight level, we are going to join them together. The union now is finished to join. The rising main going to the tank. It is still service pipe up to the tank. 
Before you, you raise the wall, there is a stop cock and a drain cock. That stop cock, you stop water from coming, then you open the drain cock in order to remove the water which can be in the pipeline if you want to make a repair. So from here, that pipe is a service pipe up to the tank. In the tank, there is one stop cock outside on the service pipe, which can control the flow of water into the tank. Then there is a, what we call a bore valve, it is this one, which is in the tank, it's the one controlling the flow of water into the tank, in the tank, inside the tank. Service pipe is finished. We are reaching the wall there. You can see that stop cock and the drain cock. There are two. The purpose of the drain cock is if there is any pipe leaking up there or broken, you close your water, you drain off the water in the, in the pipeline, then you carry out your maintenance work. Reaching the water tank, there is another stop cock outside, outside before the pipe enters the, the tank there is a stop cock which can control the flow. If this valve, bore valve is effective, the water will overflow, will fill and overflow the tank, or the building, or the carpet inside the house. But this bore valve is the one controlling the flow. When the water reaches the tank, you connect another connection. That pipe is called distribution pipe. That distribution pipe is the one which serves appliances down here. Appliances including water heater, WC pan, a wash basin, sink where the wash plates, and bus tap where you bathe. That distribution pipe serves all appliances down. The water comes by gravity from the tank. It is not the water from the main. It comes by gravity. Only the one who permits a draw-off point where you can draw water for drinking, it is in the kitchen. Only, only one. That is an indirect system. Thank you very much for your attendance. I hope even next time, if I come, I'll be asking you, what have you learned from the first model? This model is a very interesting one. It is for water. And as you know, water has been helping us in this pandemic, disease, coronavirus. We are only using water to be clean because we have no vaccine, no medicine. But we are trying to fight it through the water supply. So it is very essential for somebody's life, for everybody's life. Without water, there is no life. Thank you very much. <laughs>